I love you, Callum. I love you, Annie. I love you, Simon. I love you, Louise. I love you. Who is it? It's my grandpa. Ah, come in, Simon. Simon. Grandpa, what are you doing? Um, nothing. What brings you here? I just wanted to borrow some money, but what are you doing? My wallet's on the kitchen table. Take as much as you want. What's wrong with you? What are you going to do with all those pills? Calm down, Simon. Sit by me. Simon, you know when your grandmother died two weeks ago? I cried. For the first time in my life, really. I've never ever cried before. I've always been the tough guy. And I stood there on my wife's deathbed and realized that I'd actually never told her how much I loved her, how much I adored her. I had the profoundest conversation I'd ever had with her right then. Although she didn't answer, I knew she understood. And I knew she forgave. She's always forgiven me. And at that moment, a dancer deep inside me was born. No, not born. She's always lived in me and just woken up. She's been sleeping all my life. And before I left the room, I said, Good night, Louise. Good night, Louise. It was the same good night which I used to say to her every evening. I left the hospital, resigned my job, and went home. It was one of the strangest feelings I've ever had. I left two things which were lifelong by my side. I was exhausted. And suddenly, my dancer started dancing. all the hard times, someone would lead me to happiness, but that's not true. Happiness is a choice. In the following weeks, I started thinking about everything. I regretted everything. I worked too hard almost every day. I wanted to save money for later, but I never realized that later was now, and now was yesterday. Why didn't I live my life? I always did what others expected. I wished I'd had the courage to say no to the others and yes to me. I always planned everything, but never really did it. Oh gosh, I regret everything. And I thought I couldn't escape that world of desperation anymore. I thought it was time to go to bed. I was old and tired. And 
suddenly, I heard Louisa's voice. She said what she used to say when I was tired after a long day at work. Never go to bed angry, Robert. And then my dancer started dancing again. I was tired and just wanted to sleep, but she kept dancing. And she still dances. So what are you going to do now? I'll go out there and start a new life, without any plans. I'm just writing my farewell letter, and then I'll let my dancer dance. She will show me the way. You know, Simon, in a Hollywood movie, I would take off on a plane and start my adventures. The message would be, live your own life. It's never too late to start. But that little production can't afford either a plane or a journey around the world. In this short film, my adventures happen in the imagination of all those people who can't get me out of their minds after watching it. And the message of that film? Well, your life might never be a Hollywood movie, but some very special moments can anyway just be experienced on foot. Go out there and let your dancer dance.